everyone. Thanks again for joining me on another Make It With Me Monday. I'm just going to pull out a couple things here while people are chiming in, saying hi, all that good stuff. Um, had a late night last night. I was up at Lambeau for the game. That was a lot of fun. So it's been a while since we've been there, obviously, because it was the first home game of the season. I might need one more. And uh, just lots and lots of fun. But it did make for a late night, so <laughs> um, have to keep track of uh, what I'm doing here and uh, make sure I'm staying awake in the right, all the right times. <laughs> all right, I have that one, I have that one. Anybody on here with me? Kathy Joe's here, hello. I totally got you. Okay, I feel like I'm missing one sheet of this designer series paper. However, I will be able to show you most of it. Um, so I'm gonna show you tonight what I'm using um, for all of my projects tonight, I picked this designer series paper as part of the weekly deals. Um, if you haven't been paying attention, every uh, Thursday to Wednesday, so they started a new one, or no, I shouldn't say that, it's every seven days, and I'm pretty sure it started on a Thursday. Um, they're doing a number of things that are going to be discounted for the next week. This particular designer series paper, Perfectly Penciled, is part of that. Um, it's a completely black and white collection, and so uh, the opposite sides have different patterns, obviously. And as I go through tonight, you'll see some of the different things that I've been doing with these guys. All right, now I feel like there was one more. I don't know if that one was there. I don't want to seem to be there. Did I put that one over? I did. All right, well, I must have them. This feels like one side I didn't see before. Okay, let's try that. All right, so these perfectly penciled designer series papers are so cool um, because you can stick to completely monochromatic. I love a black and white card just all over. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, the simplicity, the classiness of it, just, just love it. Um, but remember, you can always stamp on our designer series paper. You can color it, whether you use pencils or markers or blends or whatever. Um, you can sponge over this, the colors, etc. So it's a really nice one to work with because you have those basic black and white ones, and then you can add whatever colors you like to them. So that's what I'm going to be doing as I show you the samples of what we're making through tonight. Um, also, the stamps that I've used on every single one of them tonight is One Happy Family. Um, lots of cute little fonts and phrases, and I do like that there's a couple occasions in here. Um, they poke a little bit of uh, a little bit of humor is in here. So pregnancy, the happiest, re happiest reason for feeling rotten. <laughs> that was kind of a good one. Um, but I tend to, I do use my little happy birthday one here a lot. I just think the font is really cute. Uh, so there's some good ones in that. And I will list the pages and everything in all of the sample pictures that I post and all that good stuff for when you see them after we're done uh, being live. All right, where's my list? Here's my list. Okay, here's what you needed to do tonight's card. We're going to need a piece of cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half. And you're going to score that at four and a quarter. Mine, I'm using the thick basic white. You, of course, use any color you like. And if you do have a colored cardstock and you need a layer for the inside to stamp or write on, that size is going to be four by five and a quarter. Uh, four pieces of designer series paper. Again, this comes for me from Perfectly Penciled. And they're each one and a half by two and an eighth. So there are my four pieces. And a neutral piece that's three quarters by two and a quarter. And then some sort of phrase that's going to fit on that for you. Um, again, all my phrases tonight come from one happy family. And then I said create a focal point that's about two by two. So really, that's an approximation. Don't worry if it's bigger or, or smaller or whatever. You'll see once we put these cards together uh, that there's a lot of different things that you can do with those. I took my poppy. Um, hey, Karen. Good to see you live tonight. Um, I took my poppy memories dies. And I um, this is Sweet Sorbet and Parakeet Party. So I did the base flower out of the Sweet Sorbet and then the overlay in the black and white, or in the, the black. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention, um, all five of my samples tonight use the new, the current five in colors. So lots of commonality with what I did tonight on purpose. Uh, I wanted to go through the new in colors again, refresh your memory what they look like, uh, use a piece of thing that you use, paper you can get on sale this week. And I went through a bunch of my different die sets and found uh, shapes and things that make good focal points, stuff like that. So, all right, so here is my focal point. I'm going to be putting these two together on my card kind of like that. Okay, so let's start with your card base. Go ahead and score that. Or I should say burnish that. If you've already scored it, that's four and a quarter. Now, before you tape any of these guys down, we're going to go ahead and lay them out. And then you can see where you really want your pieces to go without having to keep picking them up and changing out your borders. Okay, so we're going to make a grid 
of two by two, okay? And you want about an even distance all the way around so that it looks like they're kind of centered on the front of your card, okay? So once you have that, then take off one at a time and add your adhesive and then go back in and place it down, okay? So do that with all four of your rectangles. Um, like I said, I, I've learned, I learned the hard way. Don't just start placing them down. <laughs> uh, make sure you've got it where you want it to be so you don't keep ripping it all up and starting over because that's never fun. Okay. Whoopsie, this one doesn't wanna go. Am I out? I'm getting close to out. I know I'm getting close to out, so. Uh, my little red, red line is starting to show through there. But I have a refill handy, just in case. Okay, so there is your grid of your designer series papers. Go ahead and find that three quarter inch wide piece of neutral and your phrase. I'm gonna do Sweet Sorbet ink because this is my card that has the highlight of Sweet Sorbet from those in colors. And I'm gonna hope that I'm mostly centered because I don't wanna stick my head in the way. There we go. This one tonight says congratulations. Again, all my phrases are from one happy family. Uh, okay, close that up before I stick my fingers in it. Okay, now a couple options. I'm going to place my focal points kind of more over to the side. You can pick a spot that you want it to play nicely into and then decide where your phrase is gonna land. Okay, so we can do something like this. We could do the focal points over here instead, or more up in the corner, and then you might wanna bring that up. So kind of play with what you brought tonight and where you want things to go. So I'm gonna start out with my basic design, like I said from the beginning there. I'm gonna get my liquid glue, because I have kind of a funky die cut that's hard to put adhesive on, and I was too lazy to dig out my adhesive sheets, I will admit that. <laughs> I do love those adhesive sheets for things that are a little bit more intricate, Gotta love the adhesive sheets for that. I'm also just gonna put everything down direct. You can decide as you go through this, uh, do you want things popped up? Throw some dimensionals on the back. All right, and then my poppy is gonna sit right about there. A little bit higher, I think. There we go. Okay, then I'm gonna take down my congratulations over here to cover a couple of those. All right, there's my basic layout for that. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Then I'll show you where I took that up a notch. Um, I always like to show you guys another step or two that you can do with this because, hi Mary Lynn, good to see you tonight. Um, you can do this and have it really easy. Um, this is a quick and easy for the most part, especially if you've done something that's punched out, super, super easy. Um, okay, so here's where I went with it after that. Oh, you know what? I have the problem of the black paper again. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I used the black cardstock base instead of white. I took um, Sweet Sorbet and I added just a tiny bit of that cardstock behind the black and white DSP. And when I mentioned before, like with the coloring, I took my sponge dauber and I just randomly kind of squiggled it over the black and white areas. And so some of them are colored in, some of them are not, some of them are darker than others. Um, then I also added the leaf, the solid leaf behind. Uh, that is both, those are both cut from Parakeet Party. But what I did with the, the background solid one is I took my sponge dauber again into my Sweet Sorbet ink and I added just a tiny little brush of ink over that solid leaf so that the, the other outline detail leaf would offset that with a little bit lighter look. Okay, so there is um, the same thing here. I added a little sponging and a couple of dots that are in that Sweet Sorbet color. So just a little bit, just a little step up there. I'll move this off to the side like so. So it still shows up on that white paper. Okay. There you go. Uh, so like I said, I went through and I used all five. Hi, Jesse, good to see you tonight. Well, thank you for the compliment. You're very sweet. Um, all five of my projects tonight are using the current in colors. So here is your parakeet party. Again, this one is a little bit stepped up. I stamped on my circle and I also did some die cuts again where I added some sponging to these ones in the back so they look a little darker. I used my blends to color in the leaves on my DSP and I bordered everything with a little bit of black just to pop it off of the white backgrounds. Okay, so that again, a little bit stepped up, and that does also use the, uh, the Parakeet Party Metallic Ribbon. It's very thin, I love the little, little narrowness of it, narrowness of it, um, and the metallic sparkle is, you know, right up my alley. 
All right. This one uses uh, Orchid, yes, Orchid Oasis. I use the brushed shapes dies to cut out the heart. And then I did use the phrase, I love your kind heart to go over that. I used my marker to add, to color in every other dot or so. <gasps> Carol, good to see you. Glad you could make it tonight. Hopefully you get to go to bed soon then. You're still awake now, yay. <laughs> Uh, just added a black circle behind so that the um, die cut image stood off of the background a little bit. So again, Orchid Oasis, I colored in a couple of the dots, uh, that sort of thing. Um, all right, let me shuffle these over just a little bit. Got two more. Here is Tahitian Tide. I used my marker, this time I used my blends, and I started at the top and, and kind of striped down, and I kept going just from a little bit darker point, a little bit darker point. So there's a little bit of an ombre effect here. Uh, it's one of the things I love about the blends. You can just keep layering on color and you'll see them go through. And you can see I did something a little bit different with my tag this time. And again, with this one too, um, I, no, I had the image over here. I offset that guy down here. This one, I put the phrase right across the heart. Um, and because I was doing that, I did actually trim that down a little bit. You can see that one's a little bit narrower. I wanted to see more of my heart image behind there. Um, so again, the, the tag going off the side. Um, I used the Brilliant Wings dies. The solid one obviously is the Tahitian and then the overlay in black. And lastly, I flipped this one horizontal. Um, more images from the brushed, uh, brushed shapes dies. This is just kind of like a funky circle and a couple other little funky circles. And this one is using um, Starry Sky. Okay, so Starry Sky, Tahitian Tide. Uh, pop, uh, sweet Sorbet, that's the Poppy Dyes, uh, Parakeet Party, and Orchid Oasis. So there are your five current in colors. They play really nicely together. They all have a little bit hint, hint of that bright, um, oceany, Caribbean-y, Caribbean feel. I love, love, love the way these guys play together. Um, and then again, of course, my stepped up one over here. All right, so again, that was one happy family for all the phrases. Karen, I agree, black and white DSPs are awesome. And this is penciled, pencil, perfectly penciled. There we go. And it's part of the weekly deals. So grab a couple packs of that while they're on sale. I believe they're on sale for about, uh, it's under $10. So it's like $9 and something. Um, so nice to grab one at a discount. Uh, stack up on a couple. These will play out for any occasion. You can see these patterns. Um, I think can play feminine or masculine. The, the, florals and the leaves are just really fun, especially if you like to color. If you love to color, you're going to want to go get this one. Um, I'll put everything up here on the uh, Facebook page as soon as this video ends. And so later you can find out all the numbers and ordering details and all that kind of stuff. So um, feel free to share your creations. Just snap a picture, post it um, in the comments of this video so we can all see what you guys were using. Uh, I always love to see where the base of this takes you because I just give you a little bit of inspiration, you know, like I said, you, you honestly, sometimes you come here and you're not really sure what you're making and then you can take it and run with it. So, um, all right. It was great seeing, well, seeing you, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, spending some stamping time with you guys tonight and I will see you again next Monday. Everybody have a great evening and we'll see you next time.